So hello, I am so grateful to be with you today. I hope you and your friends and family are safe and well. Because I'm with you virtually, this will be a short presentation in which I make the case for a relationship between Wikipedia and other notable Wikimedia projects and libraries. I will also share with you some exciting work that's been done by OCLC. I hope you have time to read my paper, which has many more details. In short, the opportunities for partnership are great and support many of the UN SDGs which undergrid this conference. I will be referring to three different things that sound quite similar to one another. You can refer to the published version of my paper for more details. In case you are not convinced that joining forces with Wikimedia projects is worthwhile, I'd like to spend some time unpacking what makes Wikimedia worth your time and attention. It's about scale. Wikipedia is immensely popular, the fifth most visited website globally and attracts up to 15% of internet traffic every day. Your library patrons are using Wikipedia weekly, if not daily. And if they're not going there directly, they're following highly ranked search engine results, which lead them then to Wikipedia. It's about vision. Wikipedia was launched in 2001, and from the beginning was envisioned as a resource that would give every person free access to knowledge in their own language. Beyond content and infrastructure, the Wikimedia universe represents what participants call a movement, which represents not only the projects, but also a set of values that support freedom of information and open sharing of knowledge. And it's about people. All work that's done on Wikipedia is carried out by passionate volunteers. These people, known as Wikipedians, do not only the editing, but also establish and maintain protocols and processes that support this growing knowledge base, and also helps to keep the information credible in addition to free and open. There are dozens of Wikimedia chapters, which all have their own infrastructure to su help support local activities. The Italian Wikimedia chapter is quite wonderful and has been doing important work for a long time. Wikipedia, as giant as it is, has some obvious flaws. There are significant gaps on Wikipedia. For example, only 18% of articles that are about people are about women. But the gaps extend well beyond topics having to do with women. For example, look for articles that relate to librarianship. Those articles have been neglected or have yet to be written. In addition to gaps, Wikipedia also has challenges with substandard articles, where quantity has soared, quality has not kept up. The vast majority of articles are works in progress. I go into some detail about gaps and quality in my paper. So the question arises, is Wikipedia competition for libraries? I would say that the answer is a clear no. Despite its flaws, the overall quality of Wikipedia has not prevented it from being useful. Indeed, its popularity makes the case for its utility. The question should be, how can Wikipedia be used? And I would say, as an encyclopedia, a useful jumping off place for more serious inquiries and a resource that can lead you deeper into a research journey. So let's stop saying don't use Wikipedia, but instead encourage appropriate use. We can teach ourselves and others how to use Wikipedia and how to contribute to its development. I'd like to share the story of how OCLC has helped with that. The Wikipedia Plus Libraries Better Together project was done through Web Junction, part of OCLC research. Since 2003, Web Junction has been the learning place for libraries and has served as a virtual gathering place where library staff build skills and find support in a profession that is rapidly evolving. This project was funded by the John S. and James L. Knight Foundation and by the Wikimedia Foundation. This project sought to strengthen ties between U.S. public libraries and Wikipedia, to extend public access to authoritative information and to serve public libraries' diverse communities. In this grant, we created a program designed for librarians that had three goals. 
build information literacy skills to access and create knowledge, raise the visibility of libraries and their unique local collections, and build on digital critical thinking skills and community engagement skills, and to encourage their colleagues to do the same. We had three distinct phases for this project, research design and awareness building, the course itself, and then additional research and wrap up. There was a lot under the hood. In all Web Junction work, we recognize that people who are already in the workplace have limited time. Adult learners need to put new skills in their current work right away, and therefore much of the course helped to demonstrate how work on Wikipedia fit with work that librarians are already doing. Funding allowed us to hire our Wikipedian in residence, Monica Schengel Jones. At that time, Monica was a PhD candidate in communications with a real passion for listening and learning, which is exactly what we needed for this project. I am deeply indebted to Monica for her work, which is at the heart of this part of the paper. She was supported by the Web Junction team, and I was an additional member of that team with Wikipedia editing experience. The project was also supported by the volunteer Wikimedia community from the very beginning. As we developed the grant proposal, we sought advice and support from that community. Partnering with Wikipedians proved important to our overall success, and we invited those that were willing to serve as Wikipedia guides during our course. Our guides were important voices and gave our learners a close-up view of the very human side of Wikipedia. We led from a place of listening. There are so many directions you can go with Wikipedia, but here were the priorities for our course participants as reflected in a pre-course survey. We also learned in that survey that 70% of our participants had never edited Wikipedia previously. Drawing from the research that was done by Monica, as well as from course participants, we developed a series of librarian profiles, librarians who Wikipedia. The profiles in this paper are adapted from interviews that are published on the OCLC Web Junction website. I am only going to introduce a handful because I'm short of time today, but there are many details in the paper and even more on our website. So one of these librarians is Sue Barnum, who works at the El Paso Public Library. A few years ago, someone from her local history museum asked for reference materials about Chihuahuita, a historic neighborhood in El Paso. This is a neighborhood that is one of the oldest parts of El Paso and sits directly on the U.S.-Mexico border. It is also one of the poorest neighborhoods in El Paso and on the list of endangered places compiled by the U.S. National Trust for Historic Preservation. Susan could have done what a lot of us might have done, compiled a list of references and shipped them off to the museum colleague. But Sue, who is also an active Wikipedia editor, as well as a librarian, noted that there was no Wikipedia article on this neighborhood. So she created the article and shared it with her colleague. To Susan, this made sense. It made the information available to everyone. I also want to introduce one of our students, Kim Guile. She is a community reference manager at the Kansas City Public Library, where jazz is a deep part of the history and culture of the city. She was, by her own admission, a Wikipedia doubter. While taking the course, she noticed that articles related to Kansas City jazz were missing from Wikipedia. This represented an opportunity for Kim, as well as her fellow library staff and the African-American community her library serves. She planned and executed an editing event in conjunction with the American Jazz Museum, which is also in Kansas City, and then subsequently created another partnership with the World War II Museum to fill additional gaps. She traveled to Israel to share her story at the Glam Wiki Conference in 2019 and is now hiring a Wikipedian in residence. So her journey has taken her quite far. She wants to help her fellow librarians see that Wikipedia is a resource worthy of engagement. We've been told not to use it and have been told to tell our patrons to never use it. I used to think the same thing, but I'm glad to say that my mind is completely changed. So librarians did really well in our course. And as these numbers show, there were significant outcomes from the course. 
And although it may be tempting to evaluate the core success by how many edits were contributed to the project, I'd like you to keep in mind that one of the main goals for the course was for the participants to develop engagement plans for their libraries. And 86 students developed very detailed engagement plans around what they plan to do with what they learned. Students also dramatically increased their skills and their comprehension around the topic, as this slide shows. The course materials are freely available on the Web Junction website, and we invite you to explore and use the materials yourself. Very recently, we were pleased to see that the African Library and Information Association is launching a pan-African education effort with the OCLC materials at their core. We are very excited to follow their progress as they undertake this journey. I'm going to shift gears now and talk about linked data for research description and discovery. I believe Wikidata and Wikibase play a role in this future. The story is still being written here, so I hope I can come back in a few years and we can look together at how this story ends or continues. Again, this is a story of how partnering makes us stronger. OCLC has a long history of working with linked data, stretching well back over a decade, and you can see some examples of our work in linked data listed here. OCLC has been partnering with the Wikidata community since Wikidata launched. The foremost example of that partnership was to embed library identifiers in Wikidata using VF, the Virtual International Authority File, strengthening ties between library authority data and Wikidata. I'm going to talk now uh, briefly about three broad projects that incorporate Wikibase, Project Passage, the Content DM Linked Data Pilot, and the new Entity Management Infrastructure Effort. In our research and in our projects, we have observed that an open question is where do librarians fit into the Wikidata ecosystem? For a library perspective, Wikidata can support a wide range of applications, from authority control to research discovery to scholarly communications. And indeed, librarians are warmly welcomed into the Wikidata world. But many librarians have struggled to figure out how Wikidata can support their day-to-day -day practical needs. Project Passage was an in-depth exploration of how wiki structures might be used for new entity-based cataloging workflows. Our report on what we learned from this experience was published last August. In this project, we went from two partners to 15. We only expected that half the partners for phase two would sign on, but instead everyone wanted in. So this was a, a very hot idea, one that really caught fire. Um, if you look at the numbers of outputs for the project, these numbers really only give a small indication of the intent engagement by our pilot participants. Um, one of the things that was most exciting about this project wasn't uh, the number of records that were produced, but the amount of discussion that went into uh, producing those records and working in a linked data environment. We also received some extremely positive feedback about the project. Uh, people feeling like it encapsulated cataloger values um, and also saying that this was the first postmark production environment that feels like what they want to do with their existing workflows. The Content DM linked data pilot uh, looked at digital collections. So digitized uh, collections, there are over 75 million digital records that are managed by Content DM. And this was really uh, a shift from looking at how we could incorporate entity-based descriptions and very heavily textual descriptions. This one-year project investigated uh, end-user applications as well as library staff efficiency. And on this project, we worked with five different library partners. Feedback from this uh, project was also overwhelmingly positive. Uh, people said even that this was a way to have fun and a window into new ways of thinking about what we do. As with Project Passage, we drew from what we learned to inform our linked data initiatives. Uh, one of those findings was that there is a big need for cleanup and reconciliation specific tools and efforts. So I'd like to conclude with talking briefly about the Shared Entity Management Infrastructure Project, which is funded in part by the Mellon Foundation and matched by OCLC. 
This project will publish authoritative, easily accessible entity descriptions for works and persons as part of a persistent centralized infrastructure jointly curated by the community and OCLC when it's completed in December of next year. This year, we are ramping up and focusing on data that OCLC already has, including authority data, bibliographic data, and other vocabularies that we maintain. Next year, we'll be looking to add more data sources and refine them to bring them to an even larger scale. Wikibase is the starting point as the, this platform for collaboration, but platform alone is not the thing that makes collab partnerships strong. What makes a strong partnership are clearly articulated goals, deadlines, defined roles. So as you can see here, there are 22 different institutions, including public institutions, academic, research, national libraries. All of these are part of our advisory group, and we will stay in close communication with additional linked data organizations to ensure that this infrastructure will meet their needs as well. So where does the Wikimedia community sit in all of this library to library partnership? The Wikimedia community has articulated a vision of a federated Wikibase ecosystem. And indeed, we've seen a very strong interest in the adoption of Wikibase as a platform, not only by OCLC, but also by a range of national libraries and similar organizations. Wikidata is one of those Wikibase entities and will continue to play a strong and central role. What is needed now is for partnerships to develop and emerge to support an alliance of interests in this emerging world. I wanna thank you so much for your attention and hope I can join you in person in the near future. Thanks.